Uh, I'm gonna keep cruising this way. If you don't hear from me in 20 minutes, just wait longer. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to another episode of this vlog thing. I am waking up in a completely different country right now. Um, but let's pause for a moment. Let's take a breath. Let's let's rein it in and uh, take a look at how we got here so far. All right, everyone, travel day. We made it. It's late, it's a little late, but we made it. So I'll give you a tour tomorrow when I'm a little more bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. See you there. Well, now that you're all caught up, this will probably go down as one of the most spontaneous things I have ever done. More on that a little later. I have a rolled out of bed, as you can see. Uh, officially got on some pantalones. I need to probably find a shirt so that I can go find the breakfast and get that cup of coffee because I'm desperate for it. Uh, but first, hey, if you are new to the channel, if you are new to the channel, click subscribe, join the pack, become a rebel. Um, yeah, now let's, oh, we should also do a little, a little hotel room tour. Let's do a quick hotel room tour. Flip this camera around. All right, I almost didn't even get that out. Hotel room tour, hotel room tour. Try saying that five times fast, at least. Anyway, here's the bed and here's the delicious picture of grapes. I think those are grapes. I'm not sure, but they look great. And then we have, oh, 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 we've got a little desk right here. We'll rip back around, we'll start this way first. You got a coffee maker, but I could not find any coffee making things. Just the maker and no coffee. Why you gotta do this to me? Um, but here's the shower. Here's the epic bathroom. Oh, there's that. What, who are you? And what are you doing here? Uh, just kidding, yeah, I've already been here. Uh, brought my own toilet paper because I'm a weirdo, okay? I bring, okay, I'm a particular about the toilet paper. Although this toilet paper isn't that bad. Anyway, so now let's go down here. Bed again, where all the <laughs> magic happens. Stupid. Now let's go ahead and pop out here to see the beautiful view. Let's see if I can open up the door and, huh? Oh, oh, oh man. Woo. Welcome to Costa Rica, baby. Oh, is that someone playing golf down there? Anyway, I need to go find some coffee. All right, quick update. I found a shirt. I know what you're thinking. Tyler, what does your shirt say? <laughs> None of your business, okay? None of your business. Uh, but I'm gonna flip this camera around and activate voiceover mode so that I <laughs> am not interrupting other guests. But I wanna show you this beautiful hotel because it's absolutely gorgeous. So let's head on out to the breakfast venue and, uh, and we'll see you on the other side. Now that we've activated voiceover mode, we're gonna head down this long, not creepy at all hallway. That's right, not creepy at all during the daytime. Very gorgeous. Made it to the elevator. There's this guy in the elevator that I can't seem to get away from. He waved, that's so nice. Um, now we're in the main hallway. Uh, up here on the left, I believe, is the main entrance. And then just to your left here, there's a figurine of some kind. Have no idea what's going on there. Here's the main courtyard. Gorgeous, beautiful, sunny day in Costa Rica. Take a look at that gorgeous Costa Rican sky. Stunning. Uh, that's the restaurant I believe I have to go to. Just to the right here is going to be a bar that I might hit up a little bit later, if you know what I'm saying. Huevos Ranchero for breakfast. Found the orange juice. Got the cup of coffee. Check out this beautiful view. Isn't that incredible? Well, uh, that's gonna do it, friends, for the little hotel tour. We're back in the hotel room, as you can see. Um, interesting thing I found out once I got back in here is the door handle likes to do a really loud shake like someone's trying to get in. At first I thought it was housekeeping, uh, but now I'm guessing my room just must be haunted. So I don't know if it's like an electrical mechanism issue with the card reader, but it sounds like it's just like K -k 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 -k, like super, super loud. I thought someone was at the door. I checked three times, no one has been there. Really uh, uh, jolting, to say the least. Anyway, uh, so for the next leg of the trip, we're gonna be heading out deep into the rainforest, deep into the Costa Rican rainforest to explore the great many mysteries of the mind, the mind and the body. The body. So for the next leg of the trip, where we're gonna be hiking and doing all sorts of things, I'll see you out there, cheers.
All right, everyone, made it up into the mountain late last night. I don't know if you can hear me that well with the raging river behind me. As you can see, incredibly thick, lush jungle here in Costa Rica. Just had breakfast, got the coffees, got some donuts from the local store. Now I'm about to go on a little waterfall trek, a little waterfall hike. Here's my waterfall <laughs> trek attire. It's not the best, but you know, we get, we get, we, get, we do what we gotta do, we work with what we gotta work with <laughs> up here. So I'm gonna be up here for a little while. It's time to go exploring, see you up there. Hear me, so I've made it, made it to one of the majestic waterfalls. That's too close on my face, I think. But look at how amazing this looks. Time to go for a dip. Hey Tyler, did you go in the water? <laughs> of course I did. Look at me. I hopped in. I tried to swim up the current. I didn't do too well. It's a, it's it's fast. I tuckered out pretty quickly. Not gonna lie. Anyway, I think it's time. <laughs> catch my breath, head back in for a meal. Uh, quick side note while I'm here. Um, I feel like I'm on the Jungle Cruise that's coming out. So Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt, if you are, almost fell. If you if you ever see this, how about get, the, get this guy on the sequel, all right? Think about it, think about it. Disney, think about it. All right, friends, trying to cross the river at a little bit of a shallow part to try and get to another majestic waterfall. Am I going the right way? I uh, I don't know where I'm going. Anyway, um, went off on the second hike. Hike number two for the day for another waterfall. I can hear it. I can hear it. I can feel it. Like it's right in my bones. It's nearby. Anyway, um, I had to have a stick for this one. I had to have a stick for this hike because it was much more mountainous. Mm -hmm. Pulled that word out of nowhere. Anyway, I think I just have a little bit longer to go. Uh, for the waterfall number two. Time to go get wet. All right, made it to the river. Again, I don't know if you can hear me, but check out my rad jungle warrior camouflage. Huh? Now I'm gonna blend right in. Here's the beautiful river. Now we made it too. Gotta talk really loudly down here since we're picking up all kinds of sounds. But uh, now it's time to get back to the lodge before the rain comes in and it gets dark out. Cause it's getting late, it's getting late in the day. So I'll see you back there. <laughs> I don't know what to say, to sign off here. So bye. All right, my friends, I am back at the lodge. It's over there. Um, and I got these little rock bags so that I can go fill with some stones from the river and uh, get a little workout in. So we're gonna get a little jungle workout in before dinner, and then, then we're gonna have a little bonfire. We're gonna hang out for the night. So probably be signing off, because it's gonna get dark, and there's there's not much light out here. See you all tomorrow. Getting ahead of myself. Uh, sweet dreams, good night. All right, bonfire time, baby. Look at that beast of a bonfire up into the sky. I don't know if you can see anything. Nope, that's pitch black. All right, back to the fire. Woo! Sometimes when you're in the rainforest, you get caught in the rain. It's really starting to come down now. What's going on everyone? It is a new beautiful day here in Costa Rica. Went on a little conservation hike to see all the wild animals and made my way down to this beach. You have got to take a look at how absolutely stunning it is out here. 
I just got out of the ocean, so that's why I look a little wet. But uh, now I'm gonna grab a little snack. I feel like I'm always eating. Going from one meal to the other. I'm gonna grab a little snack, and, uh, and then I'm gonna go back in, freshen up in the beautiful waters. In the beautiful, crystal clear Costa Rican waters. I almost couldn't get that out. Anyway, gotta go. Also, one thing I forgot to note. The flamingo shorts, everyone. Sporting the pink flamingo shorts out here on the beach. But also, the locals will tell you, you gotta watch out for the monkey mafia. A bunch of monkeys that live up in these trees. That you gotta guard all your stuff for with your life because they'll come, they'll open up zippers. Very sneaky, this monkey mafia. Fortunately, I don't see any. There was a bunch over there, but fortunately, I don't yet see any here. Don't wanna get in fisty cuffs with any monkeys. Wanna, we don't, we don't want to be fighting off any monkey mafias. Anyway, that was all. Just keep that in mind when you're traveling in the jungle, everyone. I also don't know if I filled you in on some of the adventures that have been going on. So today, it's the beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's hot. It's super hot. Beautiful day for the beach, coincidentally, like it was meant to be. Yesterday was a torrential downpour. I went on, it was seemingly a three or four hour endless hike up to the top of this peak. We're up in the mountains at the lodge that I'm staying at. It's like a four hour hike there and back, but on the way back, got the beautiful vista view. I can put up a picture. I think I took a picture. Had the beautiful vista view, and then on the way back, torrential downpour. River was flowing down the path, down the hiking path. It was dense jungle. It was, it was a wild ride. It was, it was an intense wild ride, totally worth it. Uh, but that, yeah, that happened yesterday. And now, and now it's a beautiful day. Like, I honestly can't. Can you get enough of this view that's back here? I feel like I could, I could just, I could just stare into my camera. But you know, I should probably enjoy it with my eyeballs instead of the camera. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that right back in the ocean now that I'm rambling on and this vlog has turned into um, a seemingly four hour, five hour vlog. I hope you enjoy. If you're new to the channel, remember always click subscribe, join the pack, become a rebel. Um, if you made it this far, <laughs> while we're here, if you've made it this far, put a palm tree. If I haven't done that before, put a palm tree and and maybe a food, maybe a food. No, a clover. Let's go with a clover, everyone. Palm tree and a clover. Put that in the comments section down below. If you've made it this far, then I'll know who the real fans are watching these things. All right. People are starting to come over here and I'm starting to feel awkward, so I'm gonna go again. This time for real. I might see you tomorrow. I'm not sure. All right, climbed up here to this tree house with this epic view and look at what else is up here. A bunch of wrestling monkeys. Play nice over there. You two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a lot of monkeys. Good morning, everyone. It's excursion time. I, uh, as you can see, I'm in full harness. I don't know if this thing really lets my dice roll around. And by dice, I think you know what I mean. Now it's time to go rappel down some waterfalls. Work this helmet a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Adventure time. Alright, after a long day of repelling waterfalls, zip lining, and all the crazy wild adventures, now we're at the World Class Marina to uh, grab a quick cup of coffee and then it's going to be off on the catamaran for the day, hit the ocean, also aka known as the Booze Cruise. Drink responsibly everyone, drink responsibly. I don't know if I'll get much footage, but uh, that's the plan for today. Lots of things, all the things. Heading into Jurassic Park. Yeah, you know the theme song. Yep. Oh, it's a little rocky. Jumping all over the place. Yeah. Almost lost it there. Well, well, well. That is gonna do it 
we've sadly come to the end of this adventure, of this episode of this vlog thing. Probably going to go down as the most spontaneous thing I have ever done. Uh, connected with some strangers who I have never met before a couple weeks ago and hitched a ride with them to Costa Rica. And, uh, you know, I had to bring the jorts. <laughs> you know, the jorts are coming to the foreign country because I'm a weirdo. Um, but sadly, this is the end. This is where I like to leave you with my, my two cents. A few, a few of my, uh, my words of wisdom that I may impart upon you. Do with them what you may. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. You know me by now. Very uncomfortable in public situations. Isolated, introverted, lone wolf, in the cave, underground. Yet here we are. Here we are. Decided to go out on the limb. Go out on a huge limb well outside my comfort zone, repelling waterfalls, zip lining through the canopy, going on incredible vista hikes where a monsoon torrential downpour took place on the way back down, and more beautiful waterfalls visited the city. It's been, it's been incredible. The hospitality has been incredible from everyone. Um, if there was a word beyond incredible, I would place this whole thing there. I just can't think of one off the top of my head. Along that, along those lines, you know, whenever you're doubting yourself, whenever you're unsure to take that leap, to take that step, just remember, remember everyone that you are stronger and more brave than you think you are. So take that leap, take that step. Don't be afraid. Get out there, get out on that limb, get outside of your comfort zone. And uh, it's gonna trail into our final thought here, big local saying, Pura Vida, around here in Costa Rica. Directly translated to pure life. That's how the people live around here. That's how they see things. And it can mean a little something, a little something different to everyone. I like to think of it as like the connection, the friendships, the people that I have met, the adventures, the moments, things that will be with me forever. That's how I like to how I like to think of it. Anyway, I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you for joining me on this extra long adventure. I apologize that it was a little longer than the usual ones. Even this uh, this speech, even this rant is a little bit longer than it should be. Uh, <laughs> but I want to thank you all for being here. I hope to see you on the next adventure. Cheers.